Hey guys, this is Rob with a Revit electrical solution for you. Have you ever had a very large one line or single line diagram that is just so big it won't fit on one sheet, especially if you have like a 24 inch by 36 inch sheet? Well, here is an idea for you to get those to fit on multiple sheets, but start out on one large drafting view. So what I have here is a project I'm working on. Um, it, it's a pretty tall uh, residential multifamily 30 story tower. And so the one line diagram is pretty tall. So what I've done is I've drawn it. I've left some gaps for different sheets so that each of these sectors will fit on different sheets. You know, the architects do this all the time when they have a large building and they divide it up into sectors or um, separate pieces. Well, they can use things like callouts or scope boxes, things like that. Well, callouts don't work on drafting views because callouts only replicate or deal with the modeled elements, not the not the annotative elements like all of our one line diagram symbols and text. So we can't use callouts, but what we can use is model groups. Perhaps you've used these in your electrical design for copying different things around. We don't use them a lot in our office, but let me show you how I use them for one line diagrams. You know, maybe you have a campus, multiple buildings all on one large diagram and you want to break it up into sheets. You could just draw them individually on individual drafting views, but as you know, it's nice to have one large coordinated view that you can work on. So what I've done is I've drawn this, like I said, in pieces. And what I can do there is, I've already done a few of them. You can see when I highlight this, it, it highlights in a blue dash around it. If I click on that, it is a detail group. And I named it one line one. This one's a detail group. I named one line two. These can be dragged onto individual sheets. So let me walk you through the process to create a group. I've already got groups here. So let's create a group for this third one line. All I do is window around what I want to be in this group for a, its own sheet and go up top to the create, create group. And then it wants you to name it. I just name this one line three. Okay, now this is all a group. Now I can't just drag this group onto a sheet. I need to drag it onto a, its own drafting view. So I've created a separate drafting view. Let me copy this first. Just copy the clipboard up here. Go to one line diagram three, which is floors nine through 14. And then just paste to align to the current view. And there's the group on its own drafting view. Now I can just drag this drafting view onto a sheet. I have one line diagram sheet set up, drag my drafting view and place it where I want. So now if I want to edit this, I don't actually edit this diagram here because then I'm just back to the way you might have normally done it with each piece on its own drafting view. I want to go back to my main. And now I can edit any of these groups in place, just like I would normally edit the one line with one additional step. I just have to click the group and say edit group. And it changes it to this funny yellow background, but now I can just edit this group just like I would any other one line diagram. I want to move this tag a little further in. Move this over here a little bit, you know, anything I want to do. I can add, I can delete, nothing, nothing special. All I do is when I'm done, I hit finish. Now the group is updated. If I go back to di diagram three, I will see that all of the edits I just made are here automatically in this one sheet. And of course they're on the sheet. So there is 
one way to deal with multi-sheet one-line diagrams, but keep them in one large master drawing to work from. I hope this is helpful for you, and until the next one.